Hi guys, Solly up here and today I'm doing a video review on the Sades Axe Gaming Mouse. Now this mouse can be found for around £27 in the UK. If you live in the UK or elsewhere, check the locally link down below, it'll take you to your localised Amazon store. Now inside the box what you'll find is the mouse itself and some adjustable weights. So yes, this does have adjustable weights that you can add uh, underneath. Very simple to add it in. The mouse it itself weighs around 108 grams, that adds around 10.5 grams of additional weight. Of course you can adjust that if you so wish, you can um, adjust um, how many pellets you put it in basically. Now um, for me 108 grams is more than enough, in fact it's a bit too much I would say I like to go around 95 odd grams but of course that's uh, purely subjective. So first off let's talk about the build quality of the mouse. It's a wired gaming mouse so that it's not wireless and the wire itself cannot be removed. It's a braided cable however the braid itself isn't as good as some of the other uh, mice I've come across and it does get a bit of friction when it's going across um, certain surfaces, um, specifically more fabric uh, surfaces. So in my case I've got a soft gaming mouse so it does, um, does get a bit of friction from it. Um, it's not a big deal but it's just worth bearing that in mind. Also in terms of friction I would say that the uh, mouse itself doesn't really glide as well as it should do. Um, I did get the rubber bits off, uh, sorry the plastic bits off which I found underneath over here which you should do if you're getting a mouse of any sort. Uh, but in comparison to uh, other mice out there uh, this one just doesn't, uh, doesn't slide as well as some other mice I've come across. Again, worth bearing that in mind because uh, you might uh, be a, feel a little bit weird when you're kind of doing flicks um, in games or, or whatever it might be. Now, um, other than that, um, moving on to the build quality, you can see there is RGB lights. Now, these haven't got independent lights, um, so you can't adjust this and this separately. However, through the software, which I'll show you in a bit, um, these uh, the, the, the color of the mouse wheel there and underneath all synchronize, and it makes it look uh, pretty nice, I would say. Um, so the fact you've got RGB lights, over here, not something I personally use, but the fact that you've actually got it at this price range is, is pretty impressive. Now, in terms of the ergonomics of the mouse, it's very much a right-handed mouse. You can see from the design of it, from the curvature over here and how it's kind of indented into the mouse over here uh, to the bottom placement. So yes, it's very much right-handed mouse. And in terms of um, size-wise, I've got a medium-sized male hand, around 18 centimeters from the top to the bottom over here, um, and it fits really well. Uh, so you can use this as fingertip or, or claw, claw grip or palm grip as well. Of course, it depends on your size of your hand, uh, but if you do have small hand size, then you might find this a little bit on the larger side. It is very much flat in terms of a mouse. It doesn't have too much of a curvature, uh, but in terms of ergonomics and design, I think they've done a great job. For me, I feel really comfortable. Specifically over here, you can see my thumb, how it lays in between uh, these buttons, and then the way the buttons are kind of curved up and down, um, I really like that. It's such a small, minor detail, but it actually makes a massive difference when it comes to gaming because you were to press them um, accidentally it could result you in let's say losing a game um, so whatever it is I just really like the way that they've designed this um, it just it just makes sense and given the price point again it's pretty impressive now in terms of the buttons they can all be customized through the software I will show you that um, I'll show you that later um, and um, other than that there's, there's not much to comment on in terms of the uh, ergonomics and design of of the um, of the mouse of course the RGB lights is the biggest thing that you will see probably um, now the, the most important thing with um, a mouse is its performance. In this case, uh, the mouse has the PMW3325 sensor. And I found it perfectly fine. It goes up to 10,000 DPI if you're gonna be mad enough to use that. And I didn't notice any sort of tracking issues or um, uh, problems when I'm kind of banging the mouse in any way. Um, it, the sensor does perform very well. Furthermore, I will say that um, when it comes to uh, moving the mouse uh, pretty quickly, it does respond really well and better than um, older Pixar sensors. I did test it versus my Rokat Kane uh, 120 AMO, which I find is the best gaming mouse out there. And what I did find is that if you are shaking your mouse really quick, and when I say really quick, I mean like this, which no mad person is going to be doing, um, the sensor does struggle to pick up the mouse and somewhat kind of jots it around. Um, that is absolute madness if you're going to be ever using that mouse that way I don't know why you'd be doing that but it's something uh, worth picking up and it's something that is kind of known with um, uh, cheaper sensors out there they have trouble uh, tracking when you go absolutely mental with them so anyway worth bearing that in mind in terms of polling rate it comes default out the bikes with um, a 500 Hertz but you can um, put that up to um, 1000 Hertz which I've done uh, so in this video again this can be done through software and it can be downloaded um, um, via, via their um, the manufacturers website 
So uh, moving on from that, um, I'll also like to mention uh, the software. So the software itself, um, I've got it on Windows 10 over here, so I'm just going to show you how it looks like and it's pretty simple but extremely effective. I just like the way that the uh, software is laid out, it just makes sense and it's very easy to understand. Uh, there's no certain things that you kind of have to work your head around it. So on the left hand side you can see there's up to 12 buttons you can customize and yes you can customize the default DPI up and down buttons. Um, everything over here can be customized. You can see this is the settings I've used just, just uh, as a rough example and furthermore you can have three separate profiles as well so that's pretty good um, customization. Furthermore, it's got built-in memory, so if you were to save it and then you were to um, plug it into a different PC, you will have your presets saved. It does DPI, you can see DPI scaling over here. If you adjust it, you can go up to um, you can go up by a hundred uh, per thing. You can't input the you can't input the DPI manually, but honestly, that's not a big deal whatsoever. Um, in terms of lighting, as you can see, uh, you can change the lighting, but as I mentioned before, um, you can only adjust uh, all the zones all together, so all three zones rather than independent zones. But you can change the speed, the direction, and also of course the the way it does. And if you if you're like me, you don't like RGB lights, you can uh, disable it altogether. In terms of mass parameters, you can see here the default sensitivity, scrolling speed, and then uh, double click speed as well can be adjusted. Of course, you can do these via windows as well. And then polling rate, which I mentioned before, about 1000 um, thousand hertz there. So the software works flawlessly. I had no issues whatsoever. It, it works as it, it intends. Um, and it's very simple. And I like that because you don't need to overcomplicate a software and make it hard for people to understand. So, so what do I make of the mouse? Well, in all honesty, the performance is fine. Um, there's absolutely no issues whatsoever unless you're going to be absolutely crazy and moving your mouse left and right really, really quickly. I don't know why you do, do that. Ergonomics, really nice. It is subjective, of course. Uh, and then the fact that you've got 12 buttons. Now, 12 buttons isn't for me personally. I'm not that type of gamer. However, there's a lot of people there that want more buttons than your default three, four, or six button uh, layout. In this case, this mouse provides those extra buttons and furthermore is extremely affordable. So, Ultimately, this mouse is fantastic. It's, to me, one of the best uh, budget gaming mice you can come across. Uh, it's got the right sensor, performance, ergonomics, design, um, pretty much everything ticks, the, uh, ticks boxes over here. Um, if anything, I would say worldwide availability. I couldn't find it, let's say, on Amazon USA. So that's right now at the time making this video that's pretty much the only limitation I can think of at this price and so there we have it that's the the mouse review um, hopefully you've enjoyed this honest unpaid review um, if you have make sure you give it a like subscribe if you want to see more and favorite and share uh, let me know below what uh, mouse you would recommend uh, for under 30 pounds all right guys I've been totally dubbed take care and bye bye